So it's been about a month since the last official UDM Pro firmware release, and I like to let these things mature for about a month before I implement them in my systems, just so the other users can go ahead and get those bugs and bring all the issues to light. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade UDM Pro. It's really simple, really quick. Without further ado, let's get into the upgrade. Go ahead and launch your UDM Pro's web console, and we will get right into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice when you get into the console is the uh, Unified Network Application screaming that it has an update. So we'll go ahead and click on the settings. We'll go on over to the updates, and here's where you're gonna get a bird's eye view of all your applications, as well as the status of your system. Here, you can see that we're running 7.1.65 of Unify Network and 1.12.22 of the Unify Operating System on our UDM Pro. So, whoa, 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 let's take a step back. Notice what happened when I clicked that blue button next to the status. That's gonna go ahead and upgrade your system. Now, before you click yes, realize that this is gonna reboot your system, and before we do that, we wanna go make sure that we understand fully what this new firmware version is going to be doing to our system. So, we're gonna go ahead and go to Ubiquiti's release page, find our version and look through the notes. Now, going over these patch notes in general is a whole video topic on its own, so we're not really gonna go crazy on that, but again, just generally, what you wanna be looking for here is how major of an update is it, right? For example, me updating to this 7.1.66 of Unify Network, looking at the uh, notes here, there's really not too much going on just by updating this application. But when you go over to the actual uh, firmware upgrade, you can see there's a ton of different bug fixes, uh, security implementations uh, like OpenSSL and um, even a UI revamp. So you do want to look at these things generally before you upgrade your system, especially if you're in a production environment. Uh, another thing that you can do is go down to the comments section. Again, once it's aged 30 days or so, there's going to be people uh, providing feedback there. So see what's happening with other people's upgrades and get in touch with that. Once you understand the implications that the upgrade's going to have on your system, it's time to actually go ahead and send it, right? So one of the things you'll notice uh, probably right when you provision your UDM Pro is that they actually enable automatic updates for the uh, firmware and for the uh, applications automatically. So I've opted to turn that off. Um, I like to control when my system updates. Um, as well as, again, I like to, to let the uh, firmware be vetted out by other users first. So uh, I turned that off and it's very simple to just manually upgrade. All you got to do is go up to the blue button and click upgrade. Now it's going to take some time. I took a nice little uh, picture of what physically the UDM Pro looks like when it upgrades. Don't judge me. I just moved into this house and there are cool videos to come about to turning this little uh, board game stand into an actual server closet behind my desk here. So while this upgrade's going, I figured I'd take a second to just kind of clarify that you notice that I only clicked the update button on the firmware for the whole system. That's actually going to upgrade the bundle of applications that is mentioned in the firmware update. So I don't actually have to update Unify Network manually. Um, it will be upgraded automatically when I do the large system update. All right, so after some time with UDM Pro, hard at work upgrading your firmware for you, will you sit back and relax? Uh, your screen will refresh and you're going to be greeted with, in this case, a brand new UI, right? So this is your new settings page. You can go ahead and click around, get familiar with that. That'll be something for another video. Uh, but what's most important to do after you've done your upgrade is check the firmware versions of the applications and firmware itself that is running. So you can clearly see here on the top, 1.12.22, uh, exactly what we're aiming for. Unified network as well, 7.1.66. Got that little baby baby update in there, but it is all for good purposes. Uh, but anyway, I mean, that's it, guys. You can go ahead and have fun checking out your new system, seeing all the different things that were changed in it, and um, hopefully enjoying its stability and extra security. Anyway, I'm Keyboard Your Tony. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Maybe check out that new server build I have coming in. Uh, Going to be transforming a whole data closet. Lots of cool stuff to come here on the channel. Peace out. Thanks for coming.